Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, giving you a quick update here. I had yesterday, my longtime supporter of the channel wants to know some shithouse areas. So we're going to go, this is a shithouse uh, update. So you can see right now in the Doge, the shithouse in the Doge is way down here, right? about right there to bankruptcy that's the shit house and we know the shit house is red so we're gonna make it red right red bitch oh it means it's off so we're gonna go over that is the shit house it looks very large up here because there's a lot of negative down there i have bankruptcy incorporated into the shit house we're going to lock so this is the shit house. So we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. Uh, uh, oh, can't just click that. We gotta do it like this, like this. Settings, text, show text. It's so stupid. Shit house. And then we're going to do all. See, shit house. Buy them. There's your shit house. So now everybody knows. Yeah, we got to make that more of a shit house. Settings. So we're going to go here. We're going to go like this. Shit house. Then we're going to go over here. And we're going to go over here. And we have a detective right here. And then we have the banker right here. And then we have me right here. <laughs> and then we have fire, this, that, uh-oh, house, emergency, sheep, SOS, problem emergency see that we got all kinds of emergencies here so that signifies right there <laughs> there's your fucking shit house we need to fix that it's too that's absurd we're, we're better than that at vincenzo's gold crypto investing so we're gonna go like this then we're gonna go like that and then we're gonna go like that and then we're gonna go like that see that there's your shit house right there so there's your shit house in XRP or in Doge and the Doge Vincenzo. That's the shit house in our shit house episode. Industry exclusive first ever shit house uh, predictions. There's where the shit house starts. There's where you're in, and you will. Oh yes, get, eventually get down there as we're trading down right now. The XRP, our shit house, and a super simple, easy way. We already have the shit house here, so I'm not sure what we're worried about there. It's already marked. Right, so we're gonna go here, then we're gonna go no 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 wrong wrong we're gonna go here, then we're gonna go tax, then we're gonna go shit house the shit house shit house poop shit house Bam. See that? There's your shit house right there. And it starts at in the old XRP with our industry exclusive price note, right? The shit house starts here. And as we know, on a quick uh, glance in, Vincenzo has this beautiful chart set up. Look at this super simple chart. See where I have it circled up there? Price got rejected there last time we hit that green ring. So that's how I knew to forecast where this blue arrow is. Price will get violently rejected at green ring at dollar 25 and what did it do it got violently rejected and we knew we were in this rising wedge right everyone's overlooking this all these ta professionals overlooking a simple rising wedge in the weekly time frame and we knew that was coming to an end so we understood that this was going that's how we forecasted down here we were going to bam pop up to get rejected by that ring because we understood what was going on up here 
right? And understood the pattern that we were in and it was going to be a fake out to the ring, come back down. And that's how we knew it would trade in between here as we zoom on in now in a super simple, easy way to get out of this coin, but to get in it real quick to show you. That's how we knew it and telegraphed it and diagnose, sniffed out and detected in pattern recognition here, you know, the same way I do with forecasting. I sniff them out and detect them and then show you. That's how we knew it was going to come up here because that was a fake out. This old rain got hit last time. We broke up above here and had a consolidation and got pumped up real quick, got violently rejected, traded down to the blue ring, traded back up to the green ring, then traded back down, then crashed. That's what happened last time. So when the price was here, we said last Friday, or I said, it's going to go up here, and then bam, it's going to get shot down and rejected. Then it would be logical to get supported on this green arrow or this uh, blue ring. That's why we had this uh, blue arrow pointed at it and said it would probably get bought back up to where a bunch of these overhead support and resistances, one from this D uh, symmetrical or er, the uh, rising wedge in white to this green ring coming down, right? So we said that's where you would logically get rejected and then we would trade back down and we are now. People started getting excited the other day when we bounced back up from here. On YouTube, they're like, oh, we bounced from a dollar eight. We're going way up there. All oh, YouTube right now. Because you got that little bounce that we forecasted. And like I said, Vincenzo's up after an interception to start the second quarter, 27 to 7 on XRP in the football game. Because we're predicting a 46.69% collapse, right? They're saying it's going way in the, the stratosphere now. Oh, no. Vincenzo knows it's coming way, way down here, right? and we're going to have a big collapse, right? It's, it's going to be a phenomenal collapse. We, I keep forgetting to put it on. We're going to go into here real quick, right? From 125, 46.69% crash after support on green ring, right? There, now everybody can see that better. And it's coming down there. Absolutely coming down there. We've diagnosed, sniffed out, and detected. And you guys are going to overt and subvert the criminal gangsters right now as you watch the fucking crash. And you, yes, you, walk away with all the fucking money, right? Because this thing's going to roll over and roll over hard. It is always possible to pump higher, but absolutely, I don't believe it. I absolutely do not believe it. I believe uh, we're not going to sniff that 140 mark. We're going to sniff that 75 cent mark. Absolutely. So we know where the shit house is there. And the Litecoin, I think I already have a shit house on here. You can see Litecoin's in the same thing as the XRP, right? You got the same rising wedge after a similar pump and getting rejected over there, right? So the shit house is down here. And the old Litecoin, the box. Yeah, that's hideous. You got to get that out. Get that completely out. Come back to here. That's supposed to be red. This one looks hideous. Do a little quick uh, chart fixing up. That needs to go. That needs to be orange. Bam. All right, so that's what's going on. There's your shit house there. The quant. I don't know if this guy likes quant, but see where that guy walking, where all the pump started? That's where the shithouse is. The jabroni killer. Everyone was happy marching up this, right? There's the shithouse in this down there, but the shithouse is red. So we have to make it red. And you can see uh, the guy's been walking up pretty nicely. Smiling, right? He's a big happy motherfucker walking up. Hey, yo. Now he's at the top of the mountain. And we told you this is probably going to roll over, but he's real happy now, right? He's doing a dance. He's got big eyes and shit. He's all fucked up. He's so happy. Big old ears, right? Big old hat. And he's just getting happier and happier as he's marching up this fucking hill, right? And stepping on up, stepping on up, stepping on up, getting rich, getting rich, getting rich, getting rich. Uh, and we'll see if he ends up back at the shithouse down there at... Get rid of all that nonsense. No, we can't get rid of the happy guy. Get rid of that. Come on. There we go. See if it comes back to the shit house at 38 cents. It's to be determined, but it is very, very possible. Right? As that man continues to walk up the the path. 
Then as we move along to Digibyte. Oh, Digibyte. Remember Digibyte? I don't talk about it much because the coin's been so depressed. But way up there, we all know, old Vincenzo was calling the collapse and was the only guy to call a collapse down there. And phenomenally now, right? Everybody else thought it was going way up. But old Vincenzo is 69.69% or stops ahead of the criminal gangster cartel and market manipulators that fleeced, heist, and shiced and squeezed the retail investor, right? But as we can see, the shit house is well diagnosed on here and shown. We're going to put a little price note. Shit house is down here, right? See that? There's your shit house. And this chart's very dirty. And what's probably going to happen in this, just on the fly TA, is you start doing this and get rejected. Because it's coming back down here. There's no denying it. Then you're going to trade and you could come back up to there. And then you're going down. Because you're going down there and did your bite. It's just the way it's going to be. So there's the shit house and zzz, We'll finish with some Zill. Oh, the shit house is already on Zill. See the shit house? It's right there. There's your shit house. Bam. So, shit house, serious shit house numbers in the first ever shit house show. I hope that gives you guys some insight where the shit house is and the best buying opportunities of a lifetime. Peace and love. Peace and love.